every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. In today's video we will be learning how to send data from the ESP32 to your phone through the use of BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. The schematic. This week's there will be no schematic. The Bluetooth is built in as well as many more features on the ESP32. Check out my previous video on the ESP32 and what it can do more. Explanation. Now I will be giving you a quick explanation on what you will have to write to be able to send out data over Bluetooth. Well, more importantly, over Bluetooth Low Energy. A BLE intro. Now Bluetooth Low Energy has a slightly different protocol than our, than our normal Bluetooth. The main difference is that Bluetooth is constantly streaming data and BLE is not. BLE uses servers that can notify a client for when a change has happened in the data. This is much more suitable for low power IoT applications. Now both server and client have a server's UUID to help them know which server and client to connect to. Each server has a service. Inside this service there can be several characteristics to read or transmit. Next to those there are descriptors which are attributes of the characteristics. They describe what they are used for. Now before we can start declaring some of, the stuff, some of the stuff we need, we want to firstly include a few libraries we will be needing to utilize BLE. Now let's start off with declaring our characteristics, a boolean to know whether our device is connected or not, and an integer to store our values in, that we'll be sending. Now we want to define our service UUID and our TX characteristic UUID to help our client know what to choose. After this is done, we can start with building a class for our server to know when the device is connected and when not. This is needed because if the device is connected, it has to send out the characteristics, characteristics. And if not, then the server uh, and the and not the service. And when there is no device connected, it has to it has to be the opposite, so then the server has to be broadcasted. So let's start with the class. Now we'll have to build two voids within this class, the connected and the disconnected. Let's start with the unconnected. So when the device is unconnect, the boolean device connected has to be true to be able to send out the characteristics. Now let's do the disconnect, disconnected one. Setup. When this clause is done, we can go over to the setup. We'll start with the serial.begin for the monitor. And after this, we'll create the device name that will be displayed when we are searching for the device to connect to. Now let's create the server which uses the class to call back to, uh, to call back to and know if the device is connected or not. When the server is created, we want to create the service, service which will hold the characteristics. After this, we want to create the characteristics and include them into the service. Now, if we want our BLE device actually to notify our client, we have to add in this little but very important line. After this, we want to start our service. And now we want to start advertising our BLE device. Also, let's add this into our monitor to let us know that the ESP32 is ready to be connected to and notify a client. 
now that finally our setup is done, let's go on to our loop. Firstly, we have to we have to check whether the device, e.g. our client, is connected or not. After this, we can fill up our integer, our integer tx value, and give it a random number, number between, let's say, minus 10 and 20. Now, before we can send out send out our data to notify our client, we have to convert our tx value to a characteristic, like so. When this is done, we can set our value to our created, created characteristic. Now for the grand finale, we can start notifying our client with our characteristic. And let's quickly run this through our monitor as well. And to finish things off, let's add a delay of let's say half a second to notify the client. So meaning every half a second, we will receive a notify that the value has been changed we will receive a notify with a new value. Now that this is done, let's try to upload, let's try and upload our code. Now open up your serial monitor. Now refresh the page on your phone and you can see ESP32, now connect to it. Now select the Nordic URT service, then the three arrows downwards and you can see that the values are being sent towards us. And if you press the three arrows downwards again, it will automatically stop sending you the digits. So what to do now? Go to Amazon or Sparkfun and buy yourself the Sparkfun ESP32 thing or the normal ESP32. Link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you are paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Sparkfun ESP32 thing or the normal ESP32. As well there will be a link to my Patreon page contain containing all of my files that I used in today's video such as the Arduino code and some extra comments that only people on my Patreon page will be able to see. Link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world!